All right, we're doing a video this morning of uh, swamp cabbage. And for you guys that don't know, that's the cabbage palm right there. Two or three of them clustered together. We've got them scattered all over the place. But anybody that knows me knows I do not like to cut a tree on the place. And normally what we do is we'll dig them up if we have to get where they're at, and then we'll transplant them. And uh, so anyway, if you remember out in front of our house, there's a circle with a bunch of oaks and uh, sweet gums and some cabbage palms out there, and that's all stuff we got from the place and just dug and transplanted. But there's one that we've just cut down, and the reason we cut it is it's right here in the, uh, we've got two or three oak trees growing, and the darn thing is growing up in it. So, so anyway, that's uh, that's what we're doing is getting rid of this tree, just keeping these oak from growing like they should. So we're going to go ahead and make some swamp cabbage out of it. Dale was asking me the other day why didn't I cut some more to make swamp cabbage with? I said, I don't like to cut trees. So anyway, that's why we're cutting this one, and while we're going to do it, we're going to go ahead and get some swamp cabbage out of it, and we'll be showing you how to cook it or how we cook it, and. Uh, but Dale says he wanted to go around the tree, knocking the uh, where the fronds hang off. I said, why? He said, that's just how we do it. I said, why? So anyway, they usually pick a shorter palm. I told Dale, I said, this is the only palm we got we're going to cut, buddy. So then we took the chainsaw and whacked it down. He said he didn't want any of the other rednecks seen him rolling around on the ground <laughs> and cutting it off. But for all you other rednecks, that's just what he's doing this morning. But anyway, we take this stuff and uh, I put okra in ours and uh, we put tomatoes and onions. Uh, we'll probably fry a little bacon, drop off in there. But we'll show you what, you know, how we do it and all. And uh, we absolutely love it. But for the people that don't live around these things, uh, you can get the same thing from the grocery store. It's the heart of palm. And uh, that's exactly what we're fixing to get out of this thing is the heart of the palm. The downside is you kill the tree. So... Dale asked me a while back, he said, well, man, if you don't want to cut these cabbages, what would you do if times got really hard, financially and economically? I said, them things would be falling at that point, like Katrina went through them. So, but anyway, but it's a good food supply. It's, they grow natural here on the place, and all of Florida's got them scattered all over, and I'm sure other parts of the country do too. Uh, Louisiana, Mississippi, I'm, I'm sure. Maybe not. But anyway, but that's what they're doing. We're getting down to the heart now, and that's what we'll cut up and cook in a little bit. You getting into it, Dale? Yeah, we're about ready to. Yeah, the bottom part of that boot? Yep. Cabbage? You want to put it in a bowl or something? Yeah, we can uh, take it up the porch if you're ready to cut it. Yeah, yeah it'd be a little bit easier up here, I think. Or uh, have your mom get us that uh, pot that uh, tell her that. The big silver one? Yeah, not the uh, pressure cooking pot, but the big silver pot. Right. Once you get out of that fiber stuff, see how it's. Uh, it's fiber, like got, looks like fiber. Right. Once you get past it, then that's where your cabbage starts. That stuff right there is bitter. You can cook it, but it'd be bitter. How far down are you going to go? Uh, we'll start cutting some of the boots off, like the bottom part of this boot. Mm -hmm. We've probably been, you know, about that much of the bottom part of the boot's good. Can I go up here? Another piece. Gone. Well, we can do it right here, Dale. Pretty good up there. We'll just set the pot right here and put it off in it. It's going to get dirty. Yeah, maybe on the concrete. Okay. Right here, Mark.
You don't need to take anything more, Dad. Yeah. Get over here where I sit down. Yeah, get that bell right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that part right there. Uh huh. Like bigger, huh? Mm, that's good. Well, while they're doing this, I guess I'll tell y'all a redneck story. These two rednecks lived in a trailer park together in Tennessee. They lived just a couple trailers down from one another, and they were out fishing one day. While they were fishing, one of them looked at the other one and said, Hey, man, if, uh, say for example, I slipped over to your trailer in the morning, beat on the door, your wife answers the door, and we go inside and I make love to your wife and say you're off hunting or fishing or something. And anyway, your wife ends up getting pregnant and having a baby. I was just wondering, would that make us kin? The other redneck thought about it for a minute and said, well, he said, I ain't so sure about the kin part. He said, but it'd sure make us even, wouldn't it? <laughs> Don't be wasting none of my cabbage palm now. A lot of work. You've been doing it for 10 minutes and it's a lot of work. You've been filming. We could, we could mow the grass. Would y'all rather go ahead and mow the grass with the bagger and bag it? Or would you rather be doing this? Tell him that he's been filming 10 minutes. See him just boil it down just like regular cabbage. But it is really good. I'm going to be honest with y'all, I've never cut a cabbage, but I sure love to eat them. The bale school of me this morning. None of that's any good? A little stringy. Now we're getting something. See what he's doing there. And I'll get Debbie here in a little bit. Show y'all how she cooks this stuff. <laughs> what she puts in it. And while we're doing this, I'm going to tell y'all one more. This one's a little risque. But not too bad. There was a little Indian boy. He was about five years old. His father was the chief of the village. Father was outside by the fire one morning. A boy walked up to him. He said, My father, he said, Could you tell me, how did you go about naming the children? And his daddy looked at the boy and said, Son, what do you mean? He said, Well, you come up with our names. He said, How did you do that? He said, Oh, I see what you're talking about, son. He said, Well, let's just say, uh, let's use your sister, Deer Running, for an example. He said, After your mother conceived your sister, I opened the flap of the teepee. 
and the first thing I saw was a deer running across the prairie. So I named your sister Deer Running. He said, your brother, Fox Jumping. He said the same thing. Your mother conceived your brother. I opened the flap of the teepee. The first thing I saw out on the prairie was a fox jumping after a mole. He said, oh. He said, now, why all these questions, two screwing dogs? <laughs> I wonder how you were going to pitch it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's how he was naming his children. Well, this is what you do when you get in the heart of these palms out. And like I said, the swamp cabbage is really, really good. And uh, it's been a food staple down here for years and years and years. It's not like it used to be years ago, back when, you know, people were first settling and everything else. And this was literally a food staple along with, you know, whatever they could find in the woods or fish and uh, what crops they could grow. But all this was used to supplement their incomes and help them to survive. So... But this is something that's really good. Like I said, the only downsize that I see with it is just literally killing the tree. And uh, I just, I've got, maybe age, but as I've gotten older, I really like to leave the trees. So that, I'm not a tree hugger, but here on the place, I like to leave everything I can. And we do try to, if we have to move something, we try to dig it and reset it and, and uh, do it that way. And quickly when we do that it's this time of the year you want the sap down in the tree trunk and uh so if you're doing any transplanting or anything well moving any trees down here this is the time of the year to be doing it uh, trees becoming dormant for the winter and that's just the time to move it so this one's a little bit too big to transplant too no actually those out there we planted we, we planted some big ones that it was all that hoe could do to move them i was trying to make you look better no, it's just it's where it was at. That's why I had to get rid of this one. So, Anyway, there you see the pot beginning to grow some. And we'll just continue working with this. And the next video, I'll show you Debbie putting this stuff together and how we make this stuff. So, All right, guys, we appreciate you watching. If you'd like to read some of our writings, it's www.ridingoutherecession.com. And uh, you can also go to the uh, www.canadafreepress.com. Uh, it's a great conservative publication. They're really good people and uh, very concerned with what's going on here in America. And uh, you can link to us through their site as well. You guys have a great day.